We now want to look at <clears throat> single node pair circuits. So these are circuits that have just two nodes. And of course, when we have uh, two nodes or n nodes in a circuit, we only solve for n minus one of those nodes because one of the nodes has to be designated as the reference node. It's, um, and we would measure the voltage relative to that. So uh, here, when we have a, a single node pair, one of the nodes is chosen to be the reference, and we say, okay, that's what we call C level, right? That's the zero volts. And now we can define the other voltage in terms of that. So here, this is uh, our, okay, C level, if you need an analogy for, for uh, this voltage reference. And we're going to solve for V right here. Solve for V. And um, this problem includes a dependent current source, kind of like we saw for the single loop circuit earlier. So <clears throat> let's initially um, get rid of this and we'll, this dependent source, and we'll replace it with a 2 milliamp independent current source. You'll notice in this circuit we're using some um, kilo ohms, so we have like 2 kilo ohms, 2k ohms, that's 2,000 ohms. Okay, and here we're using this is 24 milliamps, which is 0.024 amps. Now you may be tempted to convert all of that to ohms and amps. Don't do that. Let me show you this. If you uh, if you have one amp times one ohm, that gives you one volt. Okay. If you have one milliamp times one kilo ohm, you also get one volt. That's because this is one one thousandth of an amp times one thousand ohms. So you'll get one volt. So what's best is if you keep all of your values um, in like ohms and amps, or you put all of them in kilo ohms and milliamps, or you could say mega ohms and microamps, that would be the same thing. So we're actually going to leave the K's and the M's here, and you can even ignore them if you will and kind of assume this is 6 ohms, 2 amps, 24 amps, and 2 ohms, and then at the end uh, you can put the K's and the M's back. And now you have to be careful. You have to realize that this only works this way when you have kilo ohms and milliamps uh, in the same circuit. All right, let me erase that. And um, so how do we solve this? <clears throat> We're going to do uh, write a KCL equation at this one node, KCL here. Okay? And we have four elements. So let me redraw it here just for, for clarity. <clears throat> so we have um, I6 that is leaving here. We have 2 milliamps that is entering. We have 24 milliamps entering. And we have IX entering. So let's sum the currents leaving. All right, and the currents leaving would be I6 minus 2 milliamps, because there's 2 milliamps entering, minus 24 milliamps, and then minus IX. And we're going to write, we're going to replace all the unknown currents by expressions that involve V. All right, so this is analogous to the single loop equation, single loop circuit where we wrote 1 kVL. So we summed voltages, and then we expressed all the unknown voltages in terms of that one unknown current, I. Here, we're going to express the currents in terms of the unknown voltage, V. So I6 here is equal to, notice that V is the voltage across each element. So V is the voltage across the 6 kilo ohm resistor. So I6 is just V divided by 6 kilo ohms. And Ix, all right, this, let me draw it this way, this is minus Ix, all right? So we're going to replace minus Ix with V over 2 kilo ohms. All right, so now we can 
we can solve for V. We'll have V times 1 over 6 kilo ohms plus 1 over 2 kilo ohms is equal to 26 milliamps. And V is equal to Okay, so we'll have 6 inverse plus 2 inverse equals, and then we're going to take the inverse of that and multiply it by 26, 39. Now notice that I, I did 6, not 6K, and 2, not 2K. The reason I did that was because when I did all that math, uh, and I multiplied it by 26, I multiplied it by 26 and not 26 milli. Okay, so you need to be consistent. If you forget about the k's, you drop the k's and you need to drop the millis as well.